Hi everyone, Kevin from HockeyShare.com here, and today we're going to go through some of the basics of association memberships. So as you already know, HockeyShare gives you the opportunity to store your own personal drill database, and it also allows you to save your own practice plans. So what the association membership does is allows you to share those drills and practices with other association members, and in turn, take their data and incorporate it right into your practices with just a few clicks. So once you're a member of an organization, you can go up to Drills and Practices and you'll see a My Association slash Teams option. When we click on that, we're just brought to a list of any teams and associations we're members of. So in this case, I have several set up and we're going to take a look at some of the options under Impact Hockey Camps. So I'm just going to click on Drills Shared by Others. From here, it shows me a list of the people who are within this organization and it shows me how many practice plans and drills they've shared. Just click on 19 shared drills here in this case and you'll see all the drills that I've shared with an association. If we go back and I want to look at some of the other coaches drills, all I'll do here is I'll click on Jason's drills and it looks like he's shared a few and you'll see it lists out almost the same as it lists out in the My Drills section. It's categorized, you put your mouse over it, you get a quick preview of the drill, uh, but more importantly what we have is a single click copy. So from here, I just click copy this drill to my drills and it's gonna add an exact duplicate of the drill into my own personal drill library. So now from here, I can take that drill and I can modify it however I want, just like if I were editing a regular drill. I can also just download the PDF if I need it, then I can print it out and use it wherever. But the most important thing here is the ability to just simp simply click on that link, view the drill, and then copy it or print it. So now we'll take a look at how we share practice plans and it's a very similar concept. So again, we'll go to practice plans shared by others and we're gonna click on the actual practice plan portion. So from here, you'll see it shows just like it shows up in your own personal drill and uh, practice plan library. From here, we have the basic options. We can preview their practice plan just by clicking it, uh, same as if you were in your own personal practice plan library. And then again, more importantly, with a single click, we can copy this practice plan right to our own personal list of practices. And from here, we can actually go in and we can make cha any changes we need. So this is the practice plan that I just copied from Jason's drills. And now I can go in just like any other practice plan. I can rearrange things, I can add things, remove things, but I can more importantly make this my own. So as you can see, this is a pretty powerful tool to allow associations to share information within, between their coaches, between different levels, and between their directors. If you want to see more information on how to use the basic practice planning and drill diagramming features, take a look at some of our other tutorials. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.